Spring of Fire in Westchester County, where we proudly display vintage man in black vinyl. This being Ring of Fire, the best of Johnny Cash. Um, putting that aside, we're here to chat about a, another outdoor kitchen wrap up. Did outdoor kitchen analysis, this on a job that uh, we were involved with late this summer out in the Hamptons. And uh, yes, we proudly service the Hamptons, Westchester, Fairfield County, wherever the project needs to take us to. Um, this particular job, this is all done off the top of my head, remember, I take no notes, very little. It's all stream of consciousness, it's improvised off the top of my head, so if I stumble a little bit, you'll have to excuse me. But this is the only way I know how to do it. Um, this is around a 10-foot island, if I am uh, uh, correct, and it is a Danver outdoor kitchen, which is what I want to focus on, because I am now sitting in one of our Danver uh, displays. Um, this particular island from left to right, going off of my uh, memory, we have a big green egg starting on the left. We have an alfresco side burner, and then we have an alfresco 42 inch grill, uh, followed by a U-line refrigerator, outdoor refrigerator, and then at the end is a Summit Outdoor rated ice maker. So um, what are the positives? about this island. What are some takeaways from this? Well, first of all, they picked a great color. For some reason or another, maybe it's because this is what we have on display, we we saw a lot of the new hammer tone uh, color, which I think is a brown Jordan Danver color. This one looks like it's almost like a slate blue. I'll have to get the RAL uh, number for this. Um, but uh, they use the typical uh, or standard Danver uh, uh, handles. And um, there's probably about five cabinet modules in this setup. The, the egg has its own base cabinet. Um, there's one um, where the side burner is. The grill has its own base cabinet specific to the alfresco grill. That's something that Danver does. Their base cabinets are specifically tailored to the grill, okay? Um, and then a few more on the end. Um, uh, towards the right-hand side where the refrigeration is. Um, listen, it's a great setup in the sense that this guy, uh, he can do anything he wants. I mean, I'm actually surprised he put the ice maker and the fridge outside because the island is pretty much attached to the house and the regular kitchen, but he wanted these things outside. More power to him. He can do anything he wants. He's got three cooking devices. He's got the Alfresco 42, which of course, you can grill on it, you can kind of fake smoke on it, you can smoke TIS, incredible integrated rotisserie system, which I've done many videos about, and um, also the solid fuel box allows you to cook with charcoal. Uh, the side burner is basically there as an ancillary cooking device to throw, you know, whatever small pot you may have. I'm not a big side burner guy, but he wanted one. And then of course the egg, I mean, I would have liked to see the Kamado Joe, but he had an egg, obviously with ceramic cooking, they're far, far, far more than smokers. You can do anything on them, literally. Pizza oven, tandoor oven, you know, uh, baked bread, sear, grill, smoke. You can do anything you want on those boys. So um, he really has all the bases covered in terms of the island setup and the components in it. Um, uh, the things that I would have I would have changed about this, um, and, and can I also just actually take a step back? This was um, um, put together by the great Ken Riley, one of my buddies out there on, in Long Island, on Long Island, and uh, the colors between the stainless and the green, the countertop, which I think they used a decked-in countertop for this job, plays off the uh, uh, the patio. Uh, with the color, I mean, it, it's really, it's it's quite beautiful. I mean, people that I've shown this picture to are just like, you know, you get that reaction. So it's front and center on our gallery page right now on the Ring of Fire um, website. There are a few things I would have done differently, though. First of all, of course, I would have, I wouldn't have got a big green egg. I would have used a Kamado Joe, but that's just my prejudice. Um, as far as the, uh, you know, if you look at the, 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 the island top, it is a little cramped, okay? And I want to bring that up because 
the um, uh, when we work on outdoor kitchens after the wrap up, if there ever you do the post mortem, and if there ever is a complaint, um, I will hear uh, over the years people will say, ah, I should have. I should have made it a few feet longer. I should have bought a little bit more counter space. You can never have too much counter space as long as it, um, it you, know, you, you can fit it. And I feel that, um, like I know he has a table, which you can't see in the picture, I like guess behind this island. So they could put trays of food there to kind of put onto the grill or they could plate over there. You know, so, so there is more room to work with than what's on the island, but on the island itself, it's cramped. I mean, the side burner is like tucked in really tight um, uh, between the grill and the uh, and, and the, the big green egg. So I would have definitely, um, you know, again, I would have loved to have seen another like two feet. I just don't know if he could do it because of the way the patio was set up. Um, Product-wise, I would have changed the refrigeration. Um, you know, he had his product list set already. Uh, so I wasn't going to get into like bantering back and forth about, yeah, but I mean, I wouldn't put a U-line outdoor product in any project. I mean, you'd have to pay me to do it at this point. Um, they are like the forgotten bastard stepchild of Middleby, in my opinion. Um, Marvell is for the under counter refrigeration for outdoor refrigeration. That's the brand that gets the play. And I don't, I mean, to me, Uline is just like lost in space. Um, and I also question out in the Hamptons where he's going to get that serviced. So I certainly, and I did bring this up to him, I would not have used Uline, but they went ahead and they did it. Um, also, the Summit Ice Maker, you know, I understand that uh, that's a price move, but now you've got a different handle on the Alfresco. You've got a different handle on the Uline refrigerator. You've got a different handle on the Summit Ice Maker. Now, some, some people don't give a rat's, you know what about that, but other people, they want things to match. Um, <clears throat> the Summit Ice Maker, I mean, listen, all ice makers are problematic, and but now you're going to go take an ice maker and put it outside, that is going to heighten the probability you're going to have an issue. Um, you know, when I'm asked about outdoor ice makers, I usually will go with Marvell because, again, I know that they have uh, pretty rock-solid service. Um, you know, Summit, you know, Felix Storch, they're coming out of the Bronx. Um, they probably will be able to handle um, any potential issues without batting an eye, but I, I don't think I would have put this ice maker in this setup. I mean, it, it's the, the, there are the aesthetics of it, and I just think that for what's in there, and you know, Danver cabinets, Alfresco, I mean, it calls for like a Marvell at least. I mean, if not, if you wanted to go really upgrade and go to the Perlick, but certainly a Marvell at the least. Um, so basically, um, that's kind of a, a wrap on it. If you have questions about this, you can hit me up at uh, questions at rofgrills.com. Go to the site rofgrills.com. They got the gallery on there, which is just, which is featured. You know, we sell all fresco, we sell Uline. Well, I'd rather not. Um, we uh, Danver obviously uh, those cabinets right now are about eight weeks out. I believe, uh, eight to 10. But certainly if you're planning a spring project um, and you want things in for Memorial Day, like the footsteps actually needed to be in here or the phone calls already, make an appointment, email, and I'm happy to walk you through things. And that's a wrap. Thank you very much for watching.